hold on, was it? He's not here. Rietra? He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. Uh, didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. In real life, too. I think I know where a hitcher is. It's to be expected that we'll lose communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Indeed. We'll have to establish a connection using one of the devices on the ship. I'm sure you'll find one in the command bridge. I'll find that radio. No worries. Ah. So that's their marvel of military technology. Rich will waste no time. Is it attacking already? For now, he's only released the Cyclops, as they call it. The hell is he think? <laughs> floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Ah, what does it look like? Must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret. For a machine of destruction? Quite inconspicuous, I'd say. Sort of like a massive, heavily armed spinning top. Spinning top? Oh, that's unexpected. This is hardly the time, Astrogator. Yes, yes. Another time. Now you need to focus on finding Rahitra. Suppress his warlike tendencies. Without spirit. Without glory. Glory? I'm thinking out loud. This cruiser of theirs seems so powerful. Worthy of the mightiest space conquerors. Yet on this planet, all that awaited its crew was death. Not glory. There's one more thing, Yasna. And this is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while. But so far, everything indicates... What is that, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly... They'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. Everything makes sense now. They were coming to rescue their people from the very beginning. Not to gain some imaginary advantage over us. One doesn't exclude the other, but yes. Turns out it's mostly about the Condor. I'm boarding. I'll talk to you soon, Astrogator. Stay in touch, Yasna.
him after all. In vain. The elevator won't start without a card. I can't give you mine, so... Hey, are you sure you can't help me somehow? What are you muttering? I can't hear you clearly. <laughs> Rahitra, come on, don't be silly. Over and out. Rahitra. Oh. Whether you like it or not, I'm coming to you, Rahitra. Okay. Not quite at the bridge yet, but I'm getting closer. Much closer, Rahitra. Must be the medical wing. Surprisingly, everything's still running. Was Rahitra here? Different sections, different elevator cards. Ah, oh, they really overdo it with the security measures around here. I guess I still have some time to look around. Oh, 
someone tried to eat soap. This soporific could be useful. Although I prefer not to have to use it. Rehitra must have given them something to calm them down. As he did in the hideout. They considered even the most absurd forms of protection against a cloud. But, and I don't blame them. the flies didn't wipe out all of my memory because I, I fell into a natural stupor it makes some sense I guess So apparently there's hope. We can... No. Wait. The memories won't come back. <sighs> so much for the hope. Deliberately trying to slow me down. I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but <sighs> never mind. Dear Ackfield, ready to activate. Spherical thrower. Hit. Rahitra! Here. 
Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. They're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasna. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. No. You're on your own. I'm gonna call my commander. Fine, suit yourself. Just don't disturb me. Where can I find... You can handle it. Astrogator Novik speaking. The IC Dragonfly Unit Commander. Astrogator, it's me. I made it to the Condor's Bridge. What about Rahitra? He's here with me. Has it slowed down at all? On the contrary. There's gonna be direct conflict. Any moment now. That's all good. May I suggest you... Ah! Uh, did you hear that? Yes, yes! It's hard not to. Oh, what a fucking mess! I must check on him. <laughs> Copy that. The waiting contact. Rahitra? What's going on? I don't understand. It was going so well. Is it over now? The field held? It got so many of them. It's gone completely mad. Now it's wandering around aimlessly. Sounds familiar. Say, so look. It, listen, I connected with my astrogator. We need to talk about what's next. I won't leave it like this. I guarantee you. Rahitra. Your men are on their way here. On the Invincible. I've heard that before. Turns out it was true all along. Uh. They're flying here. Do you hear me? We'll sort everything out. So Horpak is flying here with company? What an honor. And when will they arrive, if I may ask? I... I don't know exactly. And yet you're sure they're flying here, aren't you? Oh, don't be such a grump. It'll be fine, you'll see. Hmm. Listen, I'm going back to the radio. I'll return soon. I'm back. The fight is over. Well, I think I know the outcome. I'm registering increased activity from the cloud. Yes. A complete fiasco. This was to be expected. You didn't expect the attack to succeed, did you? Did you get confirmation of the Invincibles arrival? Yes. They're very close. When will they get here? Soon. Could you be a bit more specific? Yes, I have the impression you're the one in a rush now. I don't know exactly. A few days tops. Can I talk to him now? With Rohitra? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat. This is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these? Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak. Which I guess makes me commander. 
<laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. So far, however, your crew has not been cooperative. Anyway, we stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The Cloud suffered significant losses. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the Cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still have an answer, Newly. What? A nuclear weapon? Seriously? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. Over the top, I'd say. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. That amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. I understand, yes. Although it's hard to talk about revenge here. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. That's why I would consider this problem in the category of neutralization. Not vengeance. After all, nothing guarantees the flies will stay on Regis Three If they continue to evolve... Wait a minute, Doctor. Even if they were to master space navigation, wouldn't it take hundreds of thousands of years? Millions of years, even, considering the evolutionary timeline. However, they could threaten humanity much sooner, by sheer chance. Not a chance I'm willing to take. It's not over yet. If we factor in sheer chance, we might as well get killed by a meteor. No, Novik. It's not a meteor or an ocean or a storm. They don't hunt or degrade or cripple you mentally. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Sentient or not, they are the enemies of all protein life. Argo, our enemies. Just like that? Yes. Please remember what we've learned. Before the machines came to Regis Three, this planet was teeming with life. Before the cloud wiped out all its competition. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. 
And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. Some of them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology. Not to mention an arsenal. What they wouldn't have. But there were other machines here as well. Other machines? I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for all this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? A cyberneticist had a hypothesis before he lost consciousness. About the Lyrans? Yes, that one. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Cravens monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyra, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here and that a disaster occurred. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. <sighs> Only the machine survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. What's a guiding principle of a homeostat? Ugh, I don't... Uh, that was a rhetorical question. It's all about survival and changing conditions, even the harshest ones. The further forms of necroevolution were no longer threatened by the local fauna, but they had to find sources of energy and materials from which they could produce replacement parts and offspring. Originally, their descendants were undoubtedly powered by radiant radiation. But on Regis, there are no radioactive elements at all. Ah, oh, sounds familiar. When the energy runs out, you have to wheel and deal. Yes, the default source wasn't available anywhere. So they had to look for an alternative. There was a severe energy crisis and, and a conflict among the machines. Simply put, they fought to survive. Exist. That's what evolution is all about. About selection. Wait, Doctor. We've established that these beings are mindless. Shouldn't the organisms with the most developed nervous systems win the game of evolution? In this case, instead of a nervous system, there was some kind of electrical one. But the principle remains the same. But not exactly, sir. The most advanced of the mechanisms that landed here derived energy from their own radioactive resources. Simpler devices such as small repair systems could have had solar panels. And in that case, would have had a significant advantage over the others. But the other ones could defend themselves. They could attack. With atomic power. Yes, that's possible. But I see it differently. In necroevolution, the most successful beings were those that excelled in miniaturization above all else. Also, the sedentary creations. The former gave rise to the cloud, which the flies form when necessary, in pursuit of a common interest. Meanwhile, the sedentary ones gave rise to a peculiar species of metallic vegetation. Those structures formed the city. So, it's still functional? No. For some reason, the city lost a fight for survival. And now, there are only rusting remains. Only one form survived. The microbots that conquered the land on Regis III. So, these flies just adapted best? To the conditions of this planet. Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, 
Some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis III. The local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them, so the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I'll even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well... Actually, I don't. I think we should proceed with the attack. Even after everything you've learned, Doctor? After everything you've been through? Because of it, we have to destroy the Cloud. Well, I still have significant concerns. But you're the one there, not me. Maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture. Well, indeed, Novik. I knew Yasna would understand. Now give me a minute. I'm almost done. See these switches? The ones on the launch control unit? Yeah, I see. Do I use them to launch the rockets? Not yet. We use a button for that. The red one. Big and red. <laughs> How classy. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Do the honors. Watch your eyes. This will clear the area of the flies. I can already see them melting. Take that, fucks. What? Is this a joke? No one and nothing can... It's unbelievable. They're really just invincible. Another fiasco? This is not happening. It can't be real. They... Rehitra, they're flying this way. We have to flee. But where to? Into orbit. Do you have a landing pad anywhere? At the bow. All you gotta do is open the dome. Okay, go get the others. I'll take care of this. Okay, got it. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Head upstairs, Doctor. What about the others? You'll wait for them in the lander. I hope they make it in time. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Uh, just a few more steps. Hopper's here. I'm the Hitra's team. I, I, I don't know. They're not here yet. You must fly away. Now. Yes, no, you have to... No! I know what you're gonna say. Just one more minute. Now close the hatch quickly. That's an order. Your death won't help anyone. I can't leave them. It's too late for them. Don't you understand? Ready. I'm 
made it. Copy that. I'm starting the engines. Three, two, one.